Zoroastrian Trebizond is the peak of EU4, and I won't hear any differently. However, to get to that peak, we have a mountain to climb. And it's a painful mountain. Called the Ottomans. So you already know that Tom and I are flying to Ulm if we get to 100,000 subscribers. But what you don't know is that we're considering wearing our matching EU4 jumpers the entire time. If that sounds amusing to you and you enjoy our content, why not start 2022 off right and subscribe? You know that feeling when you go on holiday and you uh, come back to a messy house because you didn't clean it when you left and you thought, I'll do it when I get back and you walk into a filthy house and it's just crushing. That's the feeling I get every time I open up a, an EU4 save. The looming disaster, low manpower, we've got loans. Oh, that's a lot of loans. Now, I have one aim for this session and one aim only and that's to become Zoroastrian. Yeah, we're actually in really, really bad shape. This is a, this is awful. <laughs> this is really bad. Really? My life gets worse? No, don't die! <laughs> this is the worst start to an E4 campaign I've ever had. What is this? Oh, the Ottomans are in a coalition against me. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Muscovy, you lost to Novgorod. <laughs> I'm going to start doing some radical things to get a hold of our income situation. Okay, a couple of extra ducats from shifting to Persia. Okay, I need to get into a war that I can call someone else in so they do all the fighting. Which is only have one ally. And he's useless because he lost to bloody Novgorod. Someone look up the definition of a failed state because I think we're rapidly approaching that point. <gasps> that, we haven't seen green on this screen for a while, boys. Pay off two loans. Oh my God, we're in the green. The debt spiral, it stopped. Timurids want military access. They're at war with Karakunula and Fars. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight them, aren't I? All right, let's go. No time like the present. Here's my thinking. The Timurids probably have a lot of money, right? So if I win, lose 3.14 ducats. That's half our GDP. There we go, boy. <laughs> Death the money, please. They have double our troops. But equally, I, I don't see a way to get out of this debt situation. We're just gonna be sitting here like slowly paying off our loans and the second we go to war, like everyone around us is getting so much bigger. We have to just go. Okay, they're on medium already. How much money could I take? <gasps> that could solve a lot of problems. Well, I say a lot of problems, just the one problem that we have no money, which is why I'm having to moth all these forts in wartime. War taxes, 0.7 ducats a month, boys. We're making it, we're making it rain. Oh. All the other campaigns I've done, Theodoro, insane conquest, making money moves. You've got Montferrat with AI Lotharingia. You've got Navarra, where I conquered Iberia. All these really, really... Athens, where I conquered Persia. It was amazing. The dominant thing in this campaign is that I'm poor. <laughs> uh, hey, man. How's it going? <laughs> I'll just turn these forts on real quick. I'm trying to fight the Iraqi troops, because they have land here somewhere. They've got troops somewhere. Oh, Iraqi separatists. Nice. Oh, oh, the Iraqis. They're sieging down in land. They breached the walls. This is awesome. Good job, boys. We do have 74%, but I need to... I want to discover the province that I want to take. I'm gonna scorch the earth everywhere I go just because I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Well, that answers that question. Now, this should be Yazd. I really hope it's Zoroastrian. It is. Okay, good. Do you think I can make it in one? Well, lads. Oh, well, lads. All right, here it is. We've got way more everything than him. Like, by a huge margin. All right, that's a big win. That's a huge coalition. <laughs> you ever do something that you know is a mistake? Oh, I can embrace Renaissance. Yeah, or, you know, I can take my country out of crippling debt. One of the two. Zoroastrian zealots, though, boys. Zoroastrian zealots. It, it might have been worth it. I <laughs> really don't like the look of that. <laughs> I'm gonna die, aren't I? Just go away. I just don't like how close to the border they are. Okay, they're leaving. Ah, okay. My life flashed for my eyes. We lost a general. Let's get another one. Oh, 5-5. Five, five. Go on, Nesta. It happened to be a gold mine. Like, here. With the... What's that? No? Just incense? Cool. Well. 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 I'm looking pretty good now, boys. Take that one, Ottomans. Some luck went my way. Enemies are sieging our provinces. In Novgorod. Why do I own Novgorod? Iraq, you sly bastard. <laughs> with your five maneuver. What's that? Fuad Akif has just gone up and taken Novgorod. It's happening, boys! It's happening! Alright, we've got to be super careful about this. <gasps> they survived! The Odyssey! <laughs> oh, Lithuania. This is, this is uncalled for, buddy. This is wrong. Oh, well done. Good job. Why are you here? <laughs> if you touch my rebels, I will burn your nation to the ground. Oh, for God's sake. They're back on their travels again. 
All right, they're going to be coming here, so I need to move. <sighs> Why would you go and take Yazd again? And there it is. Ultimate declaring war on mammoths. I could be getting so much stronger, but instead I'm going to astronaut for no reason. Oh, this is actually killing me. All right. That's the other rebels dealt with. And they are 26% away to occupying. All right. They're making good progress. It'd be quite funny if Gudra just got all of this land, though. I can't even see Gudra. I just don't know what it is. They just declare themselves a part of a nation that I have no clue what the hell is going on. Why is everyone calling me in against Poland and Lithuania? That's not what I meant. Uh, if I tell you to go passive, you'll die. Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> Alright, Rock, now's your chance. Go, run, run, run home, run home, Rock, run home! Alright, 356 in charge is good. Us losing stability, not so good. Alright, we're getting there. <laughs> Alright, here's where things get dicey, boys. Remember, if they get- if they occupy half of my provinces, they automatically break me, which means all of these provinces go to Gujarat. But equally, if I do it too early, he's gonna come all the way back here and start again. So it's a little bit tricky. Okay, he's gone for the next fort. Brilliant. I'm gonna keep this one up to give us a chance to go and deoccupy the other ones. It's actually... Okay, right, now please go up. Up, just go up. And away. Look at this, look at this one, look. <gasps> Ooh, nice shiny fort. Huh? Don't go down here, go up there. Look, it's it's mothballed. Yeah! It's like giving a dog a goddamn treat. Alright, that's a third province. Th those are three fort provinces though, that's the issue. Okay, look. Don't go to my capital just yet. Just start occupying around the area. Oh my god, the progression. I would s I don't think over half is yet. There we go! We can actually become Zoroastrian! Boys! We did it! Yes! Okay. Now we just need to convert as much as, pro as possible. All right, this is good. Oh man, because it still has the Gujarat icon. These rebels want to defect the Gujarat. No, they don't. They want to make us Zoroastrian. It's been about 14 years since I took this province. 14 years of this. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, yeah, go to Bayezid. Yeah, yeah, good, good idea. Go and take my capital at the same time. Go for it. You'll enjoy it. It's great this time of year. On the coast, the Black Sea, it's gorgeous. Just go take more things, please. You're saving me a lot of hassle later. Go on, go on, go on, go on. No! Go the other way. The other way. Look. Mothballed fort over here. This one, fool's fort. Strong fort. You don't want this fort. You know what? Diminishing returns. Let's just let's just do it. Let's let's crack on with accepting these demands. Ladies and gentlemen, we're Zoroastrian! <laughs> I promised Zoroastrian Trevazon, and I delivered Zoroastrian Trevazon. So we get these kind of Rituals, uh, which are basically useless. Uh, I'm gonna go for mystery strength That'd be good. Uh, let's try and control these sites. That's the oh, we got another blessing. No, we can't. Okay So Shirvan We need to convert it. We have one of the holy sites and boys we get the Baku Ateshgar monument, so if I start to, to you know build it we're gonna get some really really quite lovely bonuses We have to convert it first. Uh, speaking of that. I don't I don't think that it's a good idea for me to try and pay off my loans normally. That's just not how this state works, really, is it? But I have spotted an opening. It also brings in Coruscant, who I can then isolate. Siege ability plus 20%. Thank you. I desperately want that and need it. In real life, actually. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm just, I don't know what context in which I need siege. I've been caught, boys. I've been caught for the Zoroastrian faith. It was not the right faith to pick. <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> I've actually looked at the world for a while. Oh, uh, it looks pretty sad. I mean, the Scotland is doing really well. And man is allied to Scotland and Provence, so they're sticking around. Is Coruscant done? Oh my god. For the next 10 years, 20% Royal of Armies. Oh, please. I'm just going to put that there. We'll, uh, we'll delay it as long as possible. And there it is. 410 ducats. Exactly what we needed. Which means we launch straight into our next war. And there's a military coalition. That's fine. 1508. Four years, and then we fight Lithuania. We're gonna start heading west as well as east. I want to be one big line of a nation. Wait, we're a great power. Oh! <laughs> I I never saw that. No, the Iraqis. Oh god, I'm gonna have to help them, aren't I? Come on, hang on. Alright, you didn't hang on. You didn't hang on, you're gonna kill us all. Oh god, this is a slaughter! Do you think it's possible to come to Zoroastrian Crusade Estate? Because if so, that's where I need my life to take me. Honestly, a hundred... Well, about 30 ducats is not going to change my life. I think we'll get out early. I can't sustain this too much longer. Massive coalition, but... 
I don't know why I even bother saying Massive Coalition nowadays. You all know I'm going to take the provinces. Speaking of obscene... <laughs> he's even done it the tick of the month, so you can get the fort stuff. You son of a bitch. I mean, I just about got in there. I've lost one siege, but that's fine. Okay. That's right, boys. Let's retreat to the center of our nation and wait for help. Uh, in fact, let's take the Atlas now. <sighs> I've got to play smart. I have to play smart here. 2-3 uh, is not going to be good enough. Uh, the 3-6 is. Great. Now the rebels rise up. Right, boys. Let's start mobilizing, shall we? The general plan is to not die. I feel happy with that plan. And also to try and pin down these smaller nations for some easy war school. Oh, we can pick another blessing for our faith. Brilliant. Uh, let's go corruption. Don't you dare win that. Okay, good. All right. That's important. All right, let's go deal with the lands over here. The issue is if we're fighting the Ottomans directly, right? Who are allied to Poland. That's disgusting. If we're fighting the Ottomans directly, I could take so much money from them. But because I'm not, I'm going to end up poor. All right, I need to take out these Ardabil fighters because once I do, they don't come back. Oh, that's a lovely stack wipe. I've just got to wait until my allies break through to me. All right, let's blow up those walls. And we need defensiveness on everything to try and buy us as much time as possible. We do, to be fair, we do have that fort defense from the Pontic Mountains, so that's good. And another 5% discipline would be lovely. All right, we don't have a ticking war score just yet. Why not? Because 7,000 Hungarians lost to 6,000 Ardland soldiers, and somehow that's worth almost as much war score as me defeating the Ottomans and driving them from my capital. Go on, Lundberg, get him! <laughs> get him, Lundberg! I'll help out. Good job, Lundberg. <laughs> I'm going to be bankrupt by the end of this. Oh, I'm not. I'm not piecing out for nothing here. I, I'm, I'm taking land. Particularly from the green beast over here to my west. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Hungary, you need to release these men, please. <laughs> I can't believe they got trapped on Corfu. Oh, it's going to take some luck to, for them not to win at 64%. Oh, my God. In the mountains, away from the shores of Trebizond, thank you very much. I'd love to take more stuff, but I think I'm going to peace out at this point. But lads, if you thought I was going to fight the Ottomans in a coalition war, occupy Constantinople, and not do this? You're dead wrong, boys. It's the Trebizontine Falcons. We've taken Constantinople, and we're converting it to Zoroastrian. We have no admin power. We are... I want to say a couple of thousand in debt. Two thousand in debt. We're in a horrific state. But lads, we've taken Constantinople and we are Zoroastrian. So uh, that's the perfect campaign to me. Just going to quickly interrupt myself here to let you know that after eight months of waiting, the wheel stream is back and it's live right now as of this video being published. For those of you who don't know, this is a legendary Twitch stream where it's me versus Twitch chat with a wheel of punishment involved. There's more info in the pinned comment. And I think that's where we'll leave it for today. As always, boys, if you want to see more of this specific campaign, be sure to like the video. That's how I judge if I'm going to do another one or not. Otherwise, we want to start 2022 off right. We want to start off with a load of momentum and sort of push through to see if we can achieve all our aims for this year. So if you wouldn't mind uh, subscribing and supporting us on Patreon if you can, joining the Discord, follow us on Twitter, just anything you can do to help would be amazing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Huge thank you to all our Patreons, in particular Henrique, JDOW52, and Cargon. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not check out another video? It's, it's on screen now.